everybody, and welcome to Kinnick Stadium. It will be the first meeting between Iowa and Penn State, both as members of the Big Ten. A beautiful day, 65 degrees, a light wind, and Penn State kicks the ball off. Cedric Shaw takes it deep in the end zone, and the Hawkeyes will take over. First and 10, Paul Burmeiser gives off to Ryan Terry, and he only gains one before he's knocked down by Gelheiser. Let's move two plays. Third and nine, Burmeister wants to throw ball to the left flat. It is incomplete, intended for Terry in the left flat. That brings up a fourth down. Brian Hurley to punt. It will be a 31-yard kick. Return of two by Ingram and John Hartlieb on the tackle. Penn State sets up shop at midfield, first and 10. O'Neill gets the call over left tackle. He is hit hard by Chris Webb for a short gain of two. The drive eventually stalls, and so Musillo has to punt, and he kicks it out at the Hawkeye 12-yard line, a 36-yard punt, 13.06 left in the first stanza. From the 12, first and 10, Cedric Shaw over left tackle. Claire knocks him down for a loss of one. Second and 11, Burmeister. Throws to the right flat. Jeff Antilla. Make it third and six. Burmeister again wants to throw. Looks, looks, finds Scott Slutsker, and he gains 16 before he's knocked down by Pittman. Good for a first down. First and 10 from the 32. Cedric Shaw, he's in trouble, going to be knocked down for a loss of six. Jackson in on the play. Make it second and 16. Burmeister again wants to throw. There's Anthony Dean with a great catch, and he has 18 yards. Let's move two plays later from the 44. Second and 10. Burmeister, good protection, throws. Dean again with a great circus catch, and he picks up 13. From the Penn State 43, first and 10. Burmeister again, and Tulla, and he gained six before Hammonds knocks him down. From the Penn State 37, second and four. Cedric Shaw gets the call around left end, but he's in trouble. Pittman, the first man there, and Shaw loses one. The drive stalls, fourth and 10 from the 43. Nick Gallery into punt, Ingram deep for Penn State. He returns for four, and there is John Hartlieb, who is a great special teams player. First and 10 from the 13. Pitts over left guard. He gets four. Mike Daly in on the tackle. Two plays later, third and six. Saka wants to throw, looks, throws for O'Neill, but a good rush, no fumble, incomplete pass. That brings up a fourth down. Good rush. Penn State gets the punt away. 40-yard punt. Willie Guy fields it, tries to get to the sideline, but he slips down. Perry on the tackle there. So Iowa is set up in good position from the 42. First and 10, Burmeister with the fake up the middle, throws deep intended for Harold Jasper. It is intercepted. Good play down there by Hammonds. And not only can he catch it, but he can run it as he brings it back 19 yards all the way across the field. From the 30, first and 10, Saka wants to throw, finds Brady, good! Gain of 22, Pat Boone. Yes, Pat Boone in on the tackle. First and 10 from the 48, Carter over right guard, cuts back left, he gains 25 before Marquise Porter brings him down. Two plays later, second and eight, Carter over left tackle, he gains 10 before Boone again makes the tackle. From the Iowa 11, first and 10. O'Neal over right tackle. Parker Wildsman leads the Iowa defense. Two plays later, again from the 11, third and 10. Saka looks to throw, plenty of time. Now he decides to run, decides to throw, cuts back up the middle, and gains nine before Larry Blue puts him down. But not enough for the first down, so LaBarca has to come in. He holds, Fayette kicks, and Penn State goes up three to nothing. Penn State kicks off. Again, Shaw in the end zone for the touchback. First and 10 from the 20. Cedric Shaw gets the call around the right side, but Penn State is tough. Rubin runs him out from the 23, second and seven. Burmeister wants to throw. There's Willie Guy, good for eight. From the 31, first and 10, Shaw 
Gets the call. He goes around the left side. Has a nice block. Makes a nice move across the 40 to 45. He's at midfield, and he picks up 24, but Iowa was penalized 15 yards. Now make it second and one. Burmeister throwing deep for Jasper, just off his hands, incomplete. Two plays later from the 42, first and 10. King around the right side. Couple of nice moves, picks up nine before Pittman knocks him down. From the 49 of Penn State, second and one. Ryan Terry gets the call over the left tackle. Look at that second and third effort. Inside the 40, he gains 12. From the Penn State, 37, first and 10. Ryan Terry again gets the call, stiff arms, and gains seven before Brennan pulls him to the turf. Second and 10 from the 26. The reverse, Anthony Dean around the left end, and he gains seven before he is knocked down hard by Geltzheiser. Into the first quarter, Penn State three, and Iowa nothing. Great crowd on hand. There you see in the corner of the end zone. Now let's move to second quarter action. This is third and three. Burmeister on the swing pass to Ryan Terry. But oh my, this Penn State swarm. That brings up a field goal situation. Todd Romano kicks it. Looks like it was partially blocked and it's no good. So the score remains three to nothing. Penn State first and 10 from the 20. Carter right in, gained seven. Tom Knight on the tackle. From the 27, second and three, Carter again gets the call, but there is Larry Blue, no gain for Penn State on the play. The drive bogs down, so Musello has to come in and punt. He does. Willie Guy is deep, goes left, continues along the sideline, gets free, and gains 13 before he goes airborne. Two plays into the drive, second and 10 from the 46, Burmeister. Looks, now he's in trouble, he runs, he's going to be knocked down by Atkins, and Iowa will lose eight. From the 46, third and 18, Burmeister, again in worlds of trouble, nowhere to go, he loses 10, Atkins on the tackle. By the way, Burmeister was knocked down for 10 times on the day in losses. Iowa has to punt. That was Hurley, 33-yard punt. Penn State at the 31, first and 10. Collins now in at quarterback. He hits Milne for a gain of 11. Penn State is penalized 13 yards for holding. From the 18, first and 23. Carter over left guard. He gains eight. Murray Crane in on the tackle. Two plays later from the 26, third and 15. Collins to LaBarca and he gains eight before Plate knocks him out of bounds. The drive stalls, that brings up fourth down. Musillo again has to punt. Willie Guy deep for Iowa, fair catch, 41-yard punt. Iowa takes over at the 25, first and 10. Ryan Terry gets the call over left tackle. He breaks free and gains 11 before Dingle knocks him down. From the 36, first and 10, Terry reverses his field over left guard. He gains five, Pittman on the tackle. Second and five now. Terry over right guard, no gain as Penn State rises to the occasion from the 41. Third and five. Burmeister wants to throw. Watch this. Ball is deflected and captured by an Iowa lineman. It is recovered there, and that brings up a fourth and two. Nick Gallery again has to punt. Ingram deep, 53-yard punt as Ingram is driven deep but he brings it back along the left sideline and sets Penn State up at the 18-yard line. First and 10. Carter starts up the middle, cuts outside the 25, 30, 35, 40, pushed out of bounds at the 42. Now let's go to second and 10. Carter gets the call around the right end, but there is Moray Crane, a loss of one on the play. That effectively kills the drive, and Penn State will again have to punt. Masillo punts. It comes down at the Iowa 27, only a 28-yard punt. Let's go to second and 10 from the 27. Burmeister looks, good protection. There's Harold Jasper, good, for a gain of 16. First and 10 at the 43. Burmeister looks to throw, great fake, plenty of time. He's in trouble. Ball is intercepted. There's a fumble, Penn State, Iowa. There's a scramble. Who has it? Penn State comes up with the football. Second play of the drive, Carter goes around left end. 
He gains 10 before Montgomery knocks him out of bounds. Two plays later, first and 10. Carter over left guard. Couple of nice jukes. May score, knocked down at the one. First and goal, Carter left tackle, but there is Mike Wells with the big hit. Second and goal, Penn State's O'Neal goes over the top and he scores. Extra point is good, and Penn State moves out to a 10 to nothing lead. That was a 26 yard drive, six plays. It took two minutes and 20 seconds. Conway puts the ball back in play for Penn State. Cedric Shaw takes it outside his own goal line, goes straight up the middle with a nice return of 27 yards. From the 29, first and 10, Burmeister looks straight down the field, eludes the rush, flips it to King, and he gains eight before Monaghan knocks him out of bounds. Two plays later from the 38, third and one, Burmeister wants to throw. He's in trouble, going to be knocked down for a loss of 12. That kills the drive, brings up a fourth and 13. Brian Hurley has to punt. It is a 37-yard kick, and Ingram returns for only three. Great specialty teams play. From the Penn State 40, first and 10, Collins back at quarterback, throws. There's Ingram, and Scott Plate knocks him down. From the 47, again, first and 10, Carter gets the call, jukes outside. He gains five before Scott Plate again is there for the tackle. From the 42, second and five. Carter gets the swing pass, but there is great defense by John Hartley, loss of three. That again kills the drive. Iowa hanging in there. Musillo punts. It is going to be another short punt. Hit the Penn State player and rolls down toward the goal line, but they will bring it back to where it hit the Penn State player. Let's go to the second play of the drive from the 25. Burmeister to Kent Cole. He swings out right before he's pushed out of bounds and gains eight from the 33. Third and two. Burmeister again wants to throw. Does over the middle. Harold Jasper. Great reception. Good for 20 and a first from the 47. Burmeister with a nice fake and the pump. Throws to the left flat for Shaw and he gains nine. From the Penn State, 38, good drive going. Second and one, Burmeister. Protection falls away and he falls down. Another loss, this time for 12. From midfield, third and 13, Burmeister scrambling for his life. The ball is thrown deep down in the end zone, tipped away out of bounds. And at the half, Penn State 10, Maybe Iowa nothing. Please. Let's look at the stats. Despite the score, Iowa still in this ball game. You will hear Hayden Fry talk about that in his post-game comments. Penn State receives. Iowa kicks off, defends the south goal. Romano with a kickoff. Hammonds goes straight up the middle, cuts over the left sidelines. He's finally pulled out inside the 40 after a return of 54 yards from the 36. First and 10, Carter. Over the left guard for only one, there is Wildman on the tackle. Two plays later, third and nine. Collins wants to throw under heavy pressure. He scrambles right, and he gains five. Pushed out of bounds by Knight. That brings up a fourth and four from the 30. Collins electing to go for it. Plenty of time, throws over the middle. There's Ingram with a great catch. He gains 15, Jackson on the tackle. From the Iowa 15, first and 10, Carter over right tackle, breaks a couple of tackles and gains six. Hilliard in on the stop. From the Iowa nine, second and four, Pitts gets the pitch. He goes into the end zone and Penn State opens it up. The extra point is good. It was a 36 yard drive. Keyed on the return, took nine plays. Penn State 17 and Iowa nothing. Conway kicks off. For Penn State, Guy takes it. He's in trouble. He returns for 15. 
from the Iowa 25. First and 10. Burmeister still at quarterback. Ryan Terry gets the pitch around the left side. Good blocking, finds the sidelines, and he gains 11. From the Iowa 36, again first and 10. Terry over right tackle, but he's in trouble. Ben Fatty led the defense, no gain. Two plays later, third and 10. Burmeister wants to throw. There's Anthony Dean across the middle. He only gained six. Hammonds in on the stop. That brings up fourth and four. Nick Gallery to punt. Ingram deep, takes the fair catch, 29-yard punt. Let's move to third and four from the 35. Ingram gets the call, little reverse around the right side. Good blocking, finds the sideline. He goes for 22, but Penn State was called for clipping, so move it back 14. This is third and 18. Collins passes to Carter, but the defense is there. John Hartley holds him to a gain of five. That brings up a fourth and 13 from the 26. Mosello has to punt. Willie Guy deep. He takes the football in, but he's in trouble. Going to be nailed for a loss of one on the return. From the 27, first and 10, Burmeister again wants to throw. Looks for Jasper. It is complete on a good catch. Got a replay of that for you. You will see Paul Burmeister really hanging in there against a strong rush as he dodges a man right there, then steps up into the pocket. Harold Jasper says, I'm open, comes across the middle with the reception and gains 14 before he's knocked down. Two plays later, second and 10. Burmeister finds Scott Slutsker and he gains nine before Holmberg pulls him down. Reaching for that first down was Big Scott. That brings up third and one, and Paul Burmeister on the sneak gains two. Iowa only down 17 to nothing at this point. From the 48, first and 10, Burmeister. He's in trouble. He fumbles. The ball is going to be recovered by Iowa, but they lose nine on the play. From the 43, second and 19, Shaw over right guard. He again is in trouble and loses one. Rabati in on the tackle. Two plays later, it brings up fourth and 20. So Brian Hurley has to punt. He does. 29-yard punt. Ingram return of eight yards. And Penn State is in good position again from the 37. This is second down. Carter over right tackle. Gain of four. Well stops him. From the 41, third and six. Collins wants to throw. Intended throw, Neal, but knocked down. There's big Parker Wildman. Big number 56 with the rejection. Fourth down, Micello has to punt. A 50-yard punt this time. Willie Guy takes it in, finds the turf after he gains two. From the 11, Ryan Terry over left guard, and he gains five. Stewart on the tackle. Two plays later, third and two from the 19. Paul Burmeister wants to throw. Looks, looks, finds Jasper. Good for 12 before Rubin makes the tackle. That got a first down for Iowa, but let's move to second and nine. Burmeister wants to throw intended for Jasper. What a great interception by Gelheiser and no return. So as Iowa jumps off sides, here come the Nittany Lions, second and 10. Pitts over right tackle, gain of three. Two plays later, third and three. Collins wants to run. Now he pulls up, throws complete to Scott. He gains 10 down the right sideline. At the Iowa 23, first and 10. Carter gets the pitch. Great blocking, good speed. Breaks up the middle all the way. He goes in for the score. A 40-yard drive in five plays. It took a minute and 15. And the Nittany Lions 24, the Hawkeyes nothing. Conway again puts his toe to the ball. Willie Guy on the reception, and he brings it back 16 yards. From the 23, first and 10. Cedric Shaw gets the call. He goes for seven before Smith stops him. Two plays later from the 30, third and three. Shaw around the right end. He gains six. Again, Smith on the tackle. Two plays later from the 36, second and 10. Burmeister, boy, he's in trouble. Knocked down by Stewart for a loss of 10. The third quarter ends. The Nittany Lions continue to hold that 24 to nothing lead. First play of the fourth quarter, and Burmeister is knocked down for another loss, this time of nine yards. So that brings Nick Gallery on to punt. A short kick that gets a good roll. 
and it uh, causes Penn State to set up shop at the 48. From that point, Archie around the right side makes a couple of nice moves. He is really hog tied, but he picks up eight. From the 44, second and two, Pitts over right tackle, but there is Tyrone Boudreaux on the tackle. From the 44, third and two, Pitts again tries the right side, finds a little more running room and picks up 11 before Hilliard knocks him down. Two plays later from the 29, third and six, Collins passes to Milne. He goes along the right side for six before Crane is there for the stop. First down for the Nittany Lions, Whitman over left guard and he gains 20. Look at him roll for the Nittany Lions. Larry Blue on the tackle. First and goal. Pitts gets the call and gets the touchdown. The extra point is good, and some of the fans start to leave. 52-yard drive and eight plays, and the Nittany Lions a 31 to nothing lead. But Iowa continues to fight back. Cedric Shaw on the return, straight up the middle before he is really blasted after a return of 17. Let's go to second and 10 from the 23. Paul Burmeister, whoa, blindsided, loss of eight. And on third and 18, more of the same. 10 sacks on the day. Burmeister in trouble. He loses 11. And the Hawkeyes lose the football game 31 to nothing as Joe Paterno leaves Happy Valley. First downs, Iowa actually had more than Penn State, 17 to 15. Rushing, Penn State racked up almost 300 yards. Passing, a big day for Iowa, 194. Penn State only had 79. Possession, Iowa had that. But turnovers and sacks, too much to overcome. I think they had 170 yards at halftime. We had 166. We'd had the ball five minutes more than they had it. And the only score they got, touchdown, was on a blindside or quarterback and got great field position. So I didn't really feel that bad at halftime. I, I knew we still had a chance, had a realistic opportunity. And then uh, the roof caved in the second half. They uh, seemed to get stronger and stronger as the game went on and just completely shut us down. We had more drop passes than any ball game I've ever been associated with. And at the same time, we probably had more people open but didn't have time to get them the ball. And uh, the combination of those two things, we could not get a consistent drive going. Our rushing game, when we did run the ball, wasn't really all that bad. But when you take all the sack yardage, it looked like we didn't we didn't uh, fire a shot, but uh, the, the running game wasn't all that bad, but we run out of time. When you get far behind, you have to try to play catch up. And I'm sure that Burmeister not working out during the week and, and uh, Cedric Shaw and Ryan Terry being injured had something to do with it, but that doesn't make up for the lack of blocking. I mean, a team like Michigan, we have to put this behind them and take this two weeks to our advantage and, and get ready for those guys. Harold, how about the offense? It looked like they had a pretty tough time uh, getting any sort of a sustained drive going against Penn State. Yeah, I mean, we sometimes we put some things together and Paul gets sacked and bring us back. But receivers are pretty much open sometimes. Sometimes they recover sacks. But, I mean, there's somewhat of a breakdown on the line. We just have to bring it together. I'm sure there are times when I miss guys. I mean, no matter how we play, you're going to miss guys. I'm sure I miss some receivers that are open today. But uh, I don't really know how else to answer that. Yeah. Well, did you feel a gun shy at all after the sack started mounting up back there, Paul? Or? Um, not really. I mean, it, yeah. as a quarterback, if, if you're back there taking your drop, looking over the front seven, seeing who's coming free, uh, you're in trouble. Uh, your, your focus has to be on, on what's going on downfield. And uh, I can't worry about uh, who's coming through in the pass rush and who isn't. So, no, I didn't feel like I was gun shy. Paul, how much were you able to practice uh, this past week? Uh, one day. You know, we've been in been in this spot before. It's been a long time since we were shut out. I think it was over at Ohio State a few years back. But uh, 
not here at Kinnick Stadium. That's the first time I believe since I've been here we haven't put a point on the board. And so these guys mentally have got a lot to overcome, and uh, it doesn't get any easier in the future. So having said all that, we're still two and one, and that's much better than a whole lot of teams around the around the country. So I've got to look for the positive, uh, the positive things also because they are particularly young on offense and. Uh, they're the best we got, so they're just going to have to keep improving. Looked like they'd never been coached today. I, I couldn't see in the sideline whether it was two guys or three guys that gave him the lane, but the guy didn't even veer. He just ran straight up the field. And those guys can run 100 miles an hour, too. They're extremely fast. Hey, oh. Can you ever remember having a quarterback sack 10 times? I. I personally don't recall, you know, I'm getting old, but I personally never recall having a quarterback sacked that many times or having that many drop passes or having that many guys wide open and not having time to throw the ball. No, this is the worst I've ever seen. Jasper. Jasper. And I finally got it across to Burmeister. It's not his fault. You can't, you can't block, you can't run a pass pattern and throw the ball too. If you get sacked, it's not your fault. But don't throw it up for grabs. Because he got about three intercepted there trying to force the ball. And uh, it was a great learning experience for him, I hope. Uh, you know, bless his heart, he, he went in crippled, and uh, he's really beaten up now. He took some tremendous shots just to get up off the ground. Everything we tried, I mean, we ran trap plays, draw plays, everything we could to slow down the, the rush. One time, we had a screen pass called, and they only had three men rushing, and all three guys tackled him before he could throw the ball. They only had a three-man rush. So uh, I think you kind of get the idea of how much work we got to do.